everyone, so recently I watched a tutorial by Goss Makeup Artist and he'd been to a seminar and learnt a new technique um, for making the skin look completely flawless in real life and in photos. Now, the seminar that he went to was by Sonia and Pfizer, who I think one of them's a makeup artist and one's a model, and they only have an Instagram page where they post so many beautiful pictures of all of their models, and their skin always looks flawless. I myself have been following them for such a long time and I've always just thought that their uh, pictures are always airbrushed but she taught a technique at her seminar whereby you're adding a filter to your face just how you would on Instagram to make the whole face look completely flawless. So Goss Makeup Artist did a tutorial and I think it was partly just to see if it really works as well. So I just wanted to try it out myself. Today I've got quite a bit of heavy contour going on, a lot of blush um, and just a lot of makeup on my face in general. So I thought today would be a perfect day for me to try it out and just to see if I look any different from the before and after and to see if it really works. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Now the only two products that he uses well, the only product he uses is a setting powder. Mine is the MAC Studio Fix Pressed Powder in NW35, and this is just um, a, color a good colour match for my skin, and this is just a buffing brush. He did say to use a buffing brush that's slightly domed. Mine's a little bit dirty from the powder application, but this is what it looks like. So once you've done your whole base, you've done your foundation, your contour, your blush, your highlight, and concealer, corrector, whatever it is that you wear on a daily basis, he suggests just getting a bit of product onto your brush like so, and just literally buffing the powder into your skin. Now, I feel like this is gonna look really cakey. I'm not sure, because obviously when you apply a lot of powder, makeup does tend to look cakey, and he did say that a lot of people would be too scared to do this for that reason and also because they feel like the makeup might move. Now, <clears throat> I've literally today just filmed a, another tutorial on how I contour my face. So if you wanted to see how I achieved this look, <laughs> then um, I'll link my video below. So I'm just buffing it in, and he said to be really generous and just keep buffing. And so far, what I'm noticing is that the product isn't really moving. Like, my blush is still in the right place. I mean, it's toned it down a bit, definitely. And it's added a bit of colour. I guess if you use a clear, um, a translucent setting powder, you wouldn't really be adding colour to your face. But I'm just really going for it and really pushing this product into my skin. Now, I think that the Studio Fix powder wasn't really the best one to use because this is actually foundation with the powder, but looking on camera, I can still see the centre of my forehead is highlighted, the tops of my cheekbones, and maybe a little bit just around here. So, I think it really works. I mean, I'm going to leave it open. I'd like you to tell me what you think from what I look like at the start of this video and how well you think it's worked. I just fear that by using a translucent powder I would look really ghostly and that's not really what I wanted to do, but it may work. Looking into the camera, I can sort of see where I've contoured my nose, like the two lines. It's not obvious, and it's not just sort of two stripes down my face, but I can really tell. And looking into the mirror, to be fair, up close it does look a little bit cakey, but from a distance it doesn't look too bad, I suppose. So like I said, you can use any powder, is what he said, and to just use a domed buffing brush. But I actually think this technique is quite good. I mean, it's it has completely, I wouldn't say dulled down my... Um, makeup but it has sort of blended it out a little bit more and it does make it all almost one colour I want to say a bit there. 
but it does sort of look even while still showing you sort of the contours and the highlight I think the highlighted areas stand out a bit more maybe it's just the camera I'm not too sure but the good thing is it hasn't moved my makeup you know I haven't got blush on my forehead or on my chin or anywhere that I don't want it um and I feel like maybe it's added a filter I guess I'll have to look back at the video to see properly because I can't quite see into the viewfinder over there but I'd like you to let me know what you think and let me know if you give this a go as well because I'm sure by using different powders you may get different results I'm not sure but I may give this a go with a translucent powder as well um, I generally don't always use powders to set my foundation because um, I don't always want a completely matte look but the other thing he did say is if you do feel like it's a bit cakey you can just use a bit of MAC Fix Plus and that just gets rid of any of the excess <coughs> sorry <laughs> that just gets rid of any of the excess powder on your face now i think i've just sprayed a bit too much here but this will just dry and settle into my skin kind of give me my skin back if you like and just get rid of any of the excess powder but i think it does look good so the fix plus has had a few seconds just to sort of settle into my skin and it's drying now but i can see actually giving it a few seconds i can really see that my skin does look flawless i mean i've still obviously got a few blemishes here and they are raised raised so you can't actually hide texture on the skin however um i've covered up you know the redness that was there and i really like this technique and in fact i'm just using i haven't picked up any more product i'm just buffing it in a bit more just after applying the MAC Fix Plus just to see how it goes. But I don't know if you can make it out on camera, but I can still faintly see my contour there. I think I really like it, but I always need a couple of attempts just to really love it. So let me know what you think. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do. It would mean so much to me and you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. All the links to my social media pages are listed in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.